Welcome to Waypoint Connect. I'm so glad that you decided to join us. I hope you've got your coffee ready and on a day like today it might even be something cool and, and, and a cool drink. So just glad that you joined us. We have been talking about a lot of relevant topics and I think if we look at what's happening in our country at the moment and for us in Port Elizabeth right next door to us in the Sundays River I think it's a relevant topic for us to to talk about and discuss. The challenge that we often face as preachers and I and I use the word specifically preacher from the perspective of somebody that has to communicate around God's word. The challenge that we face is often we have messages that are easy messages to deliver. And it's messages like, God is your hope. God is there for you. We can trust in God. God will strengthen us. Those are the easy messages to convey because it, it brings hope to people. But there are messages that are challenging and difficult messages. And those messages, as, a, as an example, would be somebody like Malachi, where Malachi brought a message to Israel, the nation. And in those days, the prophet was speaking on behalf of God and he brought people a message directly from God. The message kind of went like, you guys are here for Sunday morning. You know what? It's better if you get in your car and you leave because God doesn't want to see you. God doesn't want to be in your presence. The message that he brought was that what he said to them was, don't bring your offerings because they insult God. Those are challenging messages and, and where that message came from was Malachi talked to them about how disconnected their lives were in terms of what God wanted from them. Now that's a very challenging message to bring. And, and why I, I highlighted that is within the context of what's happening in, in the Sunday's River Valley and it, it seems like it's kind of settled but, but we never know what's going to happen next. But within that context we know clearly that God has called us to love people. And that love people, Jesus was asked what's the most important, important commandment and it was a trick designed to catch him. And he then says, the most important one is love God. And the second one that's as important is love other people. It doesn't come with a rider. It doesn't come with a loophole and a clause that lets you out. To not love the person that you really don't get along with, not love the person that differs from you politically and in terms of views that you have, it's love people. Now I want to link it into what I started off with, preaching God's word. Because the reality is that all of us preach God's word, just in a different dynamic and often more powerful than somebody on stage on a Sunday. Just like last night in group, somebody shared how their, their boss was invited to come to a Sunday morning. Not because he went and he, and he talked to him about the Bible, but, but because the boss initiated the conversation. So even in the workplace, you're preaching. You're preaching by handling situations differently, by not reacting the way that people would expect you to react. And the challenge for us as Christians is that every day on a daily basis, we're preaching. We're showing people what it looks like when we're in a relationship with Christ. So when God says to us, love people, it's easy when people are likable and lovable. But what do you do when somebody's disappointed you? When somebody has literally gone out of their way to destroy your livelihood? How do you love that person? That's the challenge for us, and that's a daily challenge. And, and often we're not, and luckily we're not faced with that on a daily basis. But there are those situations where we need to ask the question, what does love require of me? And to be honest, we fail dramatically in that. But that shouldn't be an excuse for us to fail the next time. It should encourage us to do better the next time. So. This afternoon's message is encouragement to wrestle with your weak points, your triggers that people like to press. Take back that trigger. Don't give that trigger to somebody else and, and place it in their hand. Take your trigger back. Figure out what you need to change 
what thought pattern you need to break in order to start living a life that shares with people what it looks like when you're in a relationship with Christ, how that informs your other relationships. So be encouraged, be challenged by this message to really make an impact, make a difference and show people what it looks like to love the way that Jesus loved us because we know we've received the greatest gift and it's our responsibility to share it with other people. So take up that challenge, go and share it and make a difference in your communities. And the most important thing is, have a great week.